1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. Huh? 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 January 1st, 2023, the following things will go into effect, and people need to be aware of this. It abolishes cash bail for almost every offense. This includes, but isn't limited to, kidnapping, armed robbery, second-degree murder, drug-induced homicide, aggravated DUI, threatening a public official, and aggravated fleeing and eluding. Offenders released on electronic monitoring have to be in violation for 48 hours before law enforcement can act. They could almost drive to Alaska before we can even look for them. It denies victims their constitutional rights. And keep this in mind, businesses and homeowners, officers will no longer be able to remove trespassers from your resident, residence or your businesses. Someone could decide to live in your shed and all we can do is give them a ticket. You have to decide what level of force is required to remove them and whether or not it's legal. Huh? Huh? The Grundy County Sheriff's Office and state's attorney gave the public a heads up about what's going to happen after January 1st. That is when the law takes effect that eliminates cash bail and makes it more difficult for prosecutors to hold defendants in jail before trial. So if I commit my 10th offense DUI, I'm not a threat to a specific identified person. I'm only a threat to society at large. So we could not file a verified petition to detain that individual. The Grundy County Sheriff said that Class B and C misdemeanors will no longer be arrestable offenses under this new law. For example, trespassing and assault. Man. I want to say shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakwadashi. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, those in the gospel, bro. I live and understand of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Yep, yep, yep. Look like uh, 2023 is going to start off with a bang. Um, Brothers have been doing videos on this lesson um, about these particular uh, non-arrestable offenses that's supposed to go into law uh, January 1st, 2023, which when you go into the term January, it goes into the two-faced Roman goddess, which sets to look forth to the future and looking back into the past, which is witchcraft in itself. Um, uh, what the hell is this? So I can, uh, Esau, Edom, like I was reading in the comment board, it stated that uh, Esau was deliberately passing laws like this to disrupt society because the fact that they're pushing inflation on you people, okay, they're taking away your laws, they're becoming more draconian by the minute, by the day, and you people are still docile, so they need something to shake up the, the, the pot, so to speak, something to shake up the hornet's nest because you people, you just don't get it, man. Okay, you people in Babylon, you're just not getting it. You're too docile, you're too complacent, you're too lackadaisical. So, hey, if you feel like he puts impending danger before you, then maybe that'll get your attention. And this is really the Lord, man. Okay, and be honest with you, I think I'm going to get back into the Purge movies later on today because that's one of my favorite sagas, man. And, you know, we've been talking about events like this taking place forever, like Purge-like events. And this is honestly like one of my favorite topics to go into because it represents all hell breaking loose in global anarchy and it ain't just in chicago it's going to be in la new york 
uh, uh, Kansas City, all these places. But see, they're testing the grounds in Chicago because hey, Chicago is one of the most aggressive cities out there. Okay, and I know that for a fact because I was born and raised and I lived there the majority of my life. So I know how, it, I know, I understand the concept of the people's minds to some degree. But um, yeah, uh, this is a, a, an experiment basically. Like the Purge movies, they showed you that in the first Purge. They showed you that in every Purge movies that the people are so on edge. Okay, they're, they're, they're ready to lose it because of economic woes, uh, which is job losses, no job security inflation and if you watch the movie called the first purge which deals with the first experiment of of of, of aggression like this basically and you know like through the spirit i'm gonna watch that today but um you deal with that they show you how in the beginning that people was fed up they was aggravated they needed money okay inflation job loss and they showed you the economic downturn at the opening of the movie man okay and they was targeting jake with this so with this being said this whole event in chicago can purge-like events take place in 2023? And the spirit, I say so. Now, I'm not going to say that it's going to be a full-fledged purge on uh, January 1st, 2023. I mean, you got to put it in perspective because you got people out there that just don't really give a shit and they just on edge. And then on top of that, you got people that are still trying to live a normal life. So, you know, you're going to have those that's going to act out of chaos, but then you're going to have those that's going to kind of be out of sight, out of mind. And they're going to find a way to adapt because they don't get it twisted. Esau, he's saying he's not going to persecute certain offenses. And it's a case-by-case -case scenario. Like, let's be honestly speaking. He's not going to let it all go to shit in one day. Okay? This is all gradualism that they're talking about. All right? But Chicago, it's already a war zone out there, man. You know? And majority of my family lived out there where they live out there and they've been warned. Okay? My mom, my sister, my brother... You know, my child's mother, my grandparents, well, you know, my grandmother, rather, you know, my cousins, them guys, they, they've been warned, okay, because they know about the Israelites, they know about the truth, they know about what I do, you know, and they know about the brothers out there. So now, hey, <laughs> you get caught out there, you get caught out there, because um, I got this list here, and this is felony offenses, if you really think about it. But see, what's so ironic about this, they'll still lock you up for child support, though, but they won't lock you up for... For shit like this, which this is way more deadly than some wicked ass Title 4D uh, uh, extortion. But it says, Illinois' non detainable offenses beginning January 1st, 2023. Aggravated battery, meaning you can go up and beat somebody up. I mean, you can beat the shit out of you can pistol whip them. Uh, aggravated DUI, okay. It says aggravating fleeing because they got a stand down order. Like in uh, Chicago, they can't chase you. You know, they can't pursue you. If it ain't like if they ain't caught you, then they can't they can't do anything about it. So you can literally just run a schmuck on around them and, and nothing happens. Same thing here in uh, certain counties in uh, Missouri and Jackson County, like which we're in Jackson County. But you have certain provinces in Kansas City that they're not allowed to pursue you like out there in Raytown. I believe if you go on a run, then they got to let you go. You know, they catch up with you at a lot of time. That's what it is. And it makes a lot of sense, too, as a lot of these offenses, it's not being, uh, 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 how can I say, detainable because a couple of years ago when the, uh, you know, well, when the pandemic was at its peak, um, I got into with my upstairs neighbors to the point I had to put hands on them, you know. But uh, before then, I was, you know, complaining about this guy. Like, I'm like, look, man, you know, y'all gonna have to do something about this dude. He's outside with machetes and shit. He's talking to himself. He's completely bugged out and he's causing a nuisance in the neighborhood. And a lot of people was complaining about the guy, man, and, hey, the cops couldn't do anything. So I thought I finally got my hands on him, you know, and, uh, you know, another situation, the cops came out there. They was like, well, look, man, it ain't really nothing we can do for people like that. They said, usually we'd take them and take them to a mental institution, but we can't do that because, you know, we in the midst of this thing. But I'm like, if I kick in this door and I snatch him out and beat the shit out of him, I'm like, y'all lock me up, though, right? He said, well, yeah, that's correct. But I'm like, this man can stand in front of my crib and, do X, Y, and Z and nothing happens. So this whole purge like scenario is going to be targeting people that's actually trying to do something probable or, or, or profitable with their lives, so to speak. Okay, because even then, with that being said, this allows Esau to, to deal with the black mask now. Okay, because it's a lot of black mask murders out there. And what I mean by that is the fact that uh, Esau, he's putting on these prosthetic masks looking like people of color and he's going in there and he's starting events 
Okay, so when one low, so when one uh when Mo is in tour with, with, with one of the folks, or if he's in tour with Lil G, you know what I'm saying, nigga from the Blackstone sets or Vice Lord, and then all of a sudden, Lil Mo for like, you know, Lil G came over there and shot up the block. It probably wasn't even Lil G. Okay, it was probably a highly trained FBI uh agent dressed up in a prosthetic mask that looked like a game banger with a blue cock his head to the right, you know what I'm saying, got the mask over his face, look just like a nigga, man, and you got to be careful, too, because uh, Esau, he sits back, and he takes surveillance photos of people, and he watches you, man, and when he, uh, uh, when he produces those photos, and he can make prosthetic masks based on an image, and say, look, make me a face like this of this high-profile guy, that way we can spark off a trickle event, so this devil is getting ready to to, to lose it, this devil's getting ready to come down, man, okay, um, I got a, a few precepts too, but um, this is just a few articles here, it says, TikTok is convinced purge is happening in real life after hearing about Illinois' new law, which technically you had a purge going on now, okay, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being uprooted, getting shot down by cops left and right, you know, but it's going to get to the point that this is going to be a 50-state uh, uh, national-wide purge, like if you watch the end of the last Purge movie that came out last year, it's called The Forever Purge. They showed you the continent of America and it was rioting and blackouts everywhere. So mass judgment and mass death is coming to America, man. All right. But it says uh, TikTok has been buzzing with theories that the purge is happening in real life. After the news about Chicago, Illinois, Safe Act coming to action in January 1st, 2023. It says people have been talking about the Safety Act. It says in the details of which were recently revealed on social media, it says TikTok users have been comparing the same to the famous Purge movie. But it says the similarities between the two have people worried about what will happen once January 1st, 2023, which is 112 days, will come. Okay. Uh, it says what we know about the Illinois new law. It says the Safety Act was pushed in 2020, but it failed to get the attention that it's currently receiving from people on TikTok and other social media platforms like Twitter. It says, and people started hearing about it after a video of Keith Pekku detailing the act surface online. It says he had the first posted on his Twitter, and from there, it found the way to TikTok. And the video explains how the Safety Act would change things starting January 1st. Okay, so it says as a Rockford Register Star, the act was passed back in 2020 and the outlet notes that due to the law, approximately 400 criminal defendants will be released back into the community. And these are high level offenders, man. And we already said it, you know, the apostles mentioned that he said a lot of these offenders are going to be put back on the streets like uh, this guy. Uh, what's this guy? Ezekiel Kelly. Last uh, like last week, he went on a shooting spree, shoot, shot seven people, killed four. And uh, he was supposed to be locked up from attempt murder, aggravated assault back in 2020. And he served 11 months. He got a three-year sentence and served 11 months. And he's back on the streets. Okay, and that's just to show you. And that was, I believe that was uh, uh, in, what is that, Jersey or something? That, it was on the East Coast, I believe. But nonetheless, Chicago, the same thing. But it says, under the law, acts such as aggravated batteries, robberies, burglaries, hate crimes, aggravated DUIs, vehicular homicide, drug-induced homicides, all drug offenses, including delivery of fentanyl and trafficking cases, are not eligible for detention, no matter the severity of the crime or the defendant's risk to a specific person or the community, unless the people prove by clear and convincing evidence that the person has a high likelihood of willfully flight to avoid persecution. But what do you mean? They are going to fucking flee and, and run because they can't be detained. They can't get caught. Okay? So this shows you here on where this place is going. You know, and these are all some high-level offenses, man. Vehicle homicide, DUI, shit, beating the hell out of somebody. And that's why he said people going to have to take matters into their own hands. So now, you know, with the gun laws being so strict, it's going to be a lot of illegal gun selling in, uh, in Chicago, man. Because if the police can't help the people, then the people are going to result to defending themselves. Okay, so everybody's going to be strapped, you know. But it says, as for cases involving armed robbery or murder, Judges may only detain a defendant if the protection manages to prove with evidence that the defendant poses a real and present threat to safety of a specific identified person or persons. But people ain't going to uh, 
uh, deal with that because in Chicago, they shoot at cops out there. But it says people have been comparing it to a real-life purge because of the famous movie that was released in 2014. It says the movie synopsis is based on a time when the American government sanctions an annual 12-hour period during which all criminal activity, including murder, is legal. And the story goes on to show how a family deals with an intruder who poses a threat to their safety. And they're telling you straightforward, man. Okay? They're telling you straightforward. Like, in the last Purge movie, it was all social media driven. Because after the, the Purge ended, it was a tweet that was going around, like on Twitter or something, that people was going to continue to Purge. So, in these social media groups, okay, and these social groups, when people... Having in their mindset to continue to do things like Antifa, uh, the Proud Boys, uh, BLM, those are all generated through social media protests. And what happens is these people come up and they'll link up and they'll start writing or protesting. So it's the same thing with the purge. A, tw a Twitter tweet may go out, hey, we're going to continue to do this. We're going to rob 36 houses tonight. We're going to shoot at 10 cops. When that shit goes viral, people are going to hop on board with it. Okay, so Salakia, man, let me get right to the scriptures, man, because I have more. But uh, this is the book of uh, Isaiah, the 19th chapter, and I'm going to start at verses 2. It says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor. City against city, kingdom against kingdom, okay? And that's talking about riots, man. Okay, because like I said, when the police can't come to your defense, then what's going to happen? Okay, people are going to start taking matters into their own hands. Okay, they're gonna start doing things, they're gonna start engaging in offenses, robbery, sex trafficking. And a lot of you baby mamas, tch, I'm gonna say this, man, because Chicago child support system, Title 4D is very corrupt. Okay, there's only but a few men that I know beat a child support case out there. And the ones that did actually win, hey, believe it or not, Esau was still trying to hold them accountable. You see, even when they filed paperwork. But overall, a lot of you women, you're getting ready to suffer in this because you have a lot of enemies out there. And I know for a fact, Chicago has a lot of demonic women, you know. So with that being said, man, a lot of you women, hey, kidnapping, they ain't going to be able to hold, take, they ain't gonna be able to hold you detained for that. You may go to trial, but <laughs> shit, man, by the time the trial comes around, shit, two, three years, they probably been dropped the case or they probably done forgot about it or it's probably piled up on a prosecutor's desk or eventually, shit, the dude had already fled or he's already dead. So basically, man, murder is going to be pretty much borderline legal in Illinois and all around this country. Because like I said, this ain't just going to be sub subjugated to, uh, to Illinois. Okay, Illinois has been a, it's, it's a stomping ground. It's a test. Okay, and it says, And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother. Um, everyone against his brother, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor. City against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards, okay? And that's the point, man. People are going to ask for questions. They're going to ask answers. They're going to go to senators. They're going to email Obama. Obama, how can you let this happen? You a Chicago native. You supposed to look out for black people when Obama don't give a damn about you, Nick Rose, man. Like we've been trying to tell you, simple ass cheeks. All right? And it says, and, I, and the Egyptians I will give over to the hand of a cruel Lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, says the Lord, and the Lord of hosts. And this is going to cause them to send in the military. Okay, and this is one reason why they can activate martial law in Chicago, because believe it or not, once the economy collapses and once they collapse the dollar, you very well going to have situations like kidnapping, aggravated assault, DUI, shit like that, because people ain't going to have anything. Because a lot of people that lives in the metropolis of Chicago, they're in poverty. Okay, you got people who are out there with money, but Jake, Jake ain't doing good in Chicago, man. Okay, J Jake is not doing good out there at all. All right, it's getting worse. So aggravated battery, okay, when a dollar collapse, it's going to lead to aggravated battery, aggravated fleeing, arson, burglary, drug-induced homicide, intimidation, kidnapping, robbery. Okay, kidnapping and robbery and second-degree murder is going to be a, a heavy thing that's going to go out there. Okay, because murder is rampant out there anyway, you see. So, like they were saying in the comment board here, it says, uh, I truly feel bad for anyone normal still living in Illinois. It says, if you're not able to leave the state, anyone willingly stand is a lost cause. <laughs> and it's going to get bad, man. You know. 
Yeah, so, hey, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is getting ready to open this thing up. Yep, so this is the book of Second Address 15, and I'm going to start at 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction doth nigh, and one people should stand up to fight against another with swords in their hands. For there should be sedition among men, and invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes. And the power of their actions shall stand in that power, right? Because people are going to start taking matters into their own hands when they realize that 5 ain't there to protect them, okay? And you can't depend on the cops anyway. I mean, shit. A lot of women are getting snatched up out there. They're getting snatched up, beat up, set on fire, getting kidnapped. You know, one chick had to jump out a damn window to escape getting gang banged. And like I said, it's going to be bad for a lot of you women out there, man. Because <laughs> it's, uh, like I said, child support is very, very corrupt out there. So, hey, if you got a man, you did him dirty, and he's at you, hey, this is the perfect time for him to come split your melon. Because he ain't going to go to jail for it. It says, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people should stand up and fight against another, and the sword's in their hands. For there should be sedition among men, invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. Okay, so that's the situation there. It says, And a man should desire to go into a city and should not be able. For because of their pride in that city should be troubled, and their houses should be destroyed, be destroyed, and men should be afraid. And a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation, man. Okay, and like I said, Chicago is a very city that's just that's, that's ridden with poverty, crime, murder. Okay, because though it's a nice city if you got money, but if you just a regular working Jake making 30000 a year, you ain't doing too good out there, man. You know? So, yeah, brothers, man. It's going to be bad out there. So, anyway, uh, second address is good for this uh, uh, lesson. But um, I'm going to end it there giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Shalom and the bubble ball. Shalom. Controversial experiment of legalized crime, the purge. Do not purge! Do not purge! You and Isaiah, just stay with me doing the purge. Oh, we're gonna be fine on our own. We are here with Dr. May Updale. She came up with this experiment. Is the purge a political device? It is a psychological one. If we want to save our country, we must release all our anger in one night. Tonight, we'll see the good and evil in everyone. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the first purge. Our neighborhood is under siege from a government who doesn't give a shit about any of us. At the siren, all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 hours. There's a lot of good people out there who we're going to have to protect. All emergency services will be suspended. We got to be prepared for anything. Your government thanks you for your participation. Parties, you predicted a much higher level of participation. Human nature does not obey the laws of politics. What the hell is going on? Military. Something funky going down, D. You're sending soldiers into the island disguised as citizens. This country needs for this to work. No one's coming to help us. After tonight, nothing will ever be the same again. They forgot about one thing. They forgot about us. What have I done? Strong, right? I'm coming. Just 
Let's remember all the good the purge does.